take a look at Shure's GLX-D digital wireless guitar pedal. Now this is a new thing that a lot of companies are doing by installing and having your wireless system as a stomp box. As you can see it's right here. Here's the receiver. Uh, it has a built-in tuner. It also has the transmitter with a rechargeable battery. We'll go through all the different features on what comes inside the box. I also want to show you the tuner functionality and I want to do a little shootout between using the wireless and being plugged straight in the amp. So let's take a look at Shure's GLX-D digital wireless guitar pedal. Alright, so let's go over what comes in the box. Here's your uh, receiver. Again, this is what mounts on the pedal board. Super durable built high quality and speaking of durable this is your transmitter guys this thing it is metal you could probably hammer and nail in with that sucker super super durable it uses a, a lithium ion battery which is right here that's what uh, charges or how you run its power um, it charges off of a regular micro USB so that comes with it in the box but you can also utilize your phone charger Sorry iPhone folks, you're out of luck, but everybody else in the world who has come to a standard that makes sense, use the micro USB. USB. The cord for the Shure, super, super durable. And the one thing I'm really excited about, I'm a huge fan of Neutrik ends, and they have Neutrik ends right there on, his, on their uh, cord. And then this is just a power cable to power your receiver, but you can utilize anything. It takes anything from 9 volt all the way up to 15 volt and plugs in right there. So let me go ahead and power it up and I'll show you some of the stuff on there. Okay, let's plug her in. Powers up really nice, really easy to read. Um, I want to also show you this. When you plug in your power or your uh, guitar cable, it only goes in one way. Screws right in, super convenient. And right there in the top, that's your on switch. As I flip it on, you'll notice we have this here. This is a power indicator to tell us how much power is in this transmitter. Now, one other thing to point out is now that's an on and off switch. I can easily flip that off while I'm gigging. So they'll sure thought of that. And they created a lock function. So you open this side panel up, there's a little link button. Hit that, flip your switch, and now it's on, right? But if I flip it off, it's still on. So it's locked, it can't be turned off, unless you unlock it, and all you do is you press the button, link button again, hold that down, and then we flip it off. There you go. And it's off, holding the link button down. Now it's out of log function. So let's show you the toner, tuner features, and I'll plug my guitar in, and we'll go through the tuner features, and then we'll do that quick shootout. Now before I show you the tuner functionality, I want to tell you about one other cool feature. Since the transmitter is rechargeable, all it takes is 15 minutes of charge, and you get an hour and a half's worth of play. So that means you can be driving between gigs, plug it in your car, and you'll be ready, ready to go for an hour and a half. Fully charged gives you 16 hours. So unless you're Prince or Bruce Springsteen, I think you'll be okay. Let's take a look at the tuner. So, click the button, goes into tuner mode. Apparently I have a few strings that are a little out of tune. And that was the, uh, which one was that? Oh yeah, that's the needle mode. So let me show you how you go into strobe mode. So you click it into the tuner, okay? You go down, you hit your mode button, and then you'll see it says needle, hit these arrows, and now it says strobe. Press this button to accept. 
now we're in strobe mode. Now I also mentioned that there's some different modes that you can do. Um, there's live mode, both mode, and uh, mute mode. We're currently in mute, so that means that when you uh, press this button here to go into to the tuner, it mutes it. If you go into live, live, and we'll select that, then it plays uh, a note every time. Now let's go into the menu go into live and go to both mode and select that and then it basically stays in your tuner but it mutes it when you press the button I personally like it with the mute button or the mute option so let's go with that that was the basic functionalities of the tuner now let's do that shootout between wired and wireless heard the suggestion of one of the viewers in my other videos, we're going to do a little shootout between the wireless and then plug straight in the amp. So I'm going to give you a little three chord progression and then we'll do a back and forth on that and then we'll do a back and forth on single chords. Now wired in using only a 10 foot chord, the same chord that was running from the wireless. That was Shore's GLX-D Digital Wireless Guitar Pedal. Now this is a super robust pedal, very handy to have on your pedal board. So if you want to learn more about this and other great products from Shore, make sure to visit their website right below. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Instagram, and Twitter by finding me at Selenium. You can also learn more about our radio show, The Flow Guitar Enthusiast, where we talk guitars, tone, and gear with the artists, the luthiers, and the manufacturers we all love. Make sure to visit www.flowguitarenthusiast.com. You can also like us on, on Facebook, The Flow Guitar Enthusiast. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.